Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and I'm back again with another video. This time a most unusual source. Let's just put it that way. Because uh, my wife and I were coming back from an appointment and uh, we saw this garage sale sign. So we said, oh, garage sale, let's stop. So we uh, went to the garage sale and we stopped, looked around, saw some things and I picked up now that I think about it, what did I... Huh. Anyway. Um, uh, and then uh, we left. And as we're leaving, there was something that I saw that, that I was debating. And she was wanting a lot of money for it. A lot of money to me. Um, for this particular item. But it just kept sticking in my craw. And so I was like, okay, let's go back. I'm going to get it. Um... She was going to be open tomorrow, and I was thinking about going back tomorrow, but my day's booked. So I wouldn't have time to go tomorrow. So I'm like, no, let's just go. So uh, we went back, and I purchased them. But the other thing about this garage sale is they had this huge dumpster st sitting in front of the unit. It was her brother-in-law that had uh, they had moved out into an assisted living facility. And so they were clearing out the house. And... Uh, what we didn't know the first time when we went there, even though we were tempted to dig through the <laughs> dumpster, uh, she was like, um, she didn't say anything. And we were like, you know, I kind of looked in, but it was mostly just boxes that you could see on top. Well, th then when we go back, there was a guy actually in the dumpster digging stuff out. And so then, of course, you know, I got curious and started looking over and seeing that he was pulling out. He was, there were a bunch of guitar magazines. So he was pulling out all these guitar magazines, um, certain ones that he wanted with covers of certain artists. So anyway, so then we started digging in there. And um, so what I'm about to show you, with the exception of the item that I went back to buy, everything else was free. Um, so we were literally d dumpster diving at a garage sale, which was kind of funny, but and some amazing stuff. Um, but this is what I went back for. So let's start with that. And I paid $50 for these two items, which again, for me, is a lot of money. It's this Brutalist style candlestick. This is the smaller one. Um, this does have a mark on it. I do not know who the mark is right there. Um, and I haven't been able to find it. I just did a quick look. Haven't been able to find it. It's very heavy for its size. So that's the smaller one. And then this is the larger one. So there's two of them. This would be called like a brutalist style where it's kind of geometric, but, you know, has some character to it, let's say. Um, so, yeah, so I bought those. Part of it, I just love stuff like that. Unusual pieces. And they're very heavy. She said it was actually this gentleman, his parents were art collectors. And this was part of their collection. And each of the kids, when they passed away, got certain pieces. And this is what he had as part of their art collection. Um, so yeah, so I need to continue to do some research to figure out who, all, who it all is. So that was my $50 item that I went back for. Everything else here was free. Um, this I didn't get out of the dumpster, but it was in the free pile. And this is a um, Rothschild, Maurice Rothschild ski hat, it's called. Um, obviously a much older ski hat, but it's in great condition doesn't look like it was really worn the only problem is the lining has a big tear in it along the seam and i'm like well i could probably sew that back up but there's where it says maurice rothschild it's called the bruce wood ski cap so it's got you know the little ear flaps that flop down so that was a nice freebie hat in great shape um the other thing there was a bunch of books in the dumpster. This was one that I got. It's called Beyond Tradition, Contemporary Indian Art and Its Evolution. So this is a Native American art book. As you guys know, I've been collecting a lot of reference books. So here's a free one. So that's exciting. And the nice thing is the books don't really smell, you know, like they were stored in the basement or anything. So there were some with water damage. This was another one I got, Ancient Egypt. Um, I like ancient Egypt, so this is another book with incredible pictures in it. You know, the artifacts they found over the years. So that's an exciting book for me. This one we picked up. Oh, 
Oh, Mom, next time we come see you, we pick this up for you. It's Journey Through France. We thought of you when we saw this one. Um, and the lady that was there happened to be from France, so she was speaking French to us, even though we didn't understand it. So when we come on, there's, a, there's that. Then there was a, because he was also a musician, he was a, a executive chef. He was a musician. He was an artist. And I think something else she said. So he lived a full life. Um, and he, actually he's still alive, but um, he's done a lot. But now I picked up all of these music books out of the dumpster as well. They're all guitar based books. Um, I love the title of this one, Flying Fingers. I'm going to give this to our son-in-law. Proven Techniques That Increase Speed, Precision, and Dexterity. <laughs> I just love the name. Um, so there's Jethro Tull. Some of you may remember Jethro Tull. His greatest hits. There's Eric Clapton. All of these books are worth like $10 to $15 a piece. The Police Greatest Hits. So these alone are worth some good money. Here's a Led Zeppelin one. Here's Stevie Ray Vaughan. Jimmy Page. And then there were these two. These were the first two that I found. Genesis books. Um, this one is Duke. And this one is a trick of the tale. Now, I looked these two up. There's this one, there's one listed on eBay, only one, nothing's sold, but this one is listed for a hundred and, I think it was $165, um, or 100, 150 to 160 somewhere in there, and there's only one. I was like, wow, that's cool. Then I looked this one up, none available, one sold for a hundred and thirty dollars so I'm like wow and I've got one of each so <laughs> so these two are going to go up on eBay I think I'm going to put them together um and sell them together that'd be easier for me yeah score can you say score that yeah, was a score amazing find this one <laughs> Nicole North Garden guess what I picked up in the bin not the Goodwill bins but in the trash bin. Yes, that's right. The Better Homes and Gardens garden book. I know the gold looking for these. I don't know if this is one you've got. This is the second edition, 1951, 1954. And it's in amazing shape. Amazing shape. So, yeah. Fun. And then there were some other smaller book. There's a Picasso textbook. Uh, oh, this one. Lay Bridge with Goran. I don't know who Goran is, but you can play bridge with him. But then the other thing I found in the dumpster was a uh, paper bag full of artwork. Um, most of it was his that the family threw away. And I pulled out a couple when I got home that I really like. He's very abstract art. But this was the favorite out of all of them that I found in the bins for me. Um, so yeah, I like the coloring on this one. And, um, but there are also a couple posters in that, um, bag. One of them was this one. It's a Lord of the Rings poster, but this is not from the latest series of movies. This was from the 1978 Lord of the Rings. Uh, movie. So it does have a little bit of a condition issue at the top and as you can tell it's a little wrinkly uh, but these are still quite collectible so I was quite surprised to see that in there and then I was really surprised to see this piece of artwork and then the lady said that that this gentleman's parents were they collected Native American art that was one of their favorite genres to collect so there is this, this is actually a pr printing, uh, offset lithography printing, but it is endorsed on the bottom. It says, first edition to Kathy, 
December 1977, Mike Miller. So this was the first run of this particular print, and he gave it to Kathy, whoever Kathy is. No idea. Um, so yeah, so it be interesting to see who the Mike Miller is, the artist, and then who Kathy is. Um, so yeah, but that's what we found in the dumpster. Isn't that amazing? And of course, these are amazing too. Still amazing, those. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching um, and coming along on our fun little journeys. I'm still trying to remember what I bought in the first round. When we went there. Isn't that silly? I don't remember what I bought. I guess we'll do another video of remembering what I bought. We'll <laughs> catch you later. Bye.